Hello everyone. Before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare your mini board, your markers, and your English books. Now let's start. Family and friends. Grade 5. Semester 1. Unit 1. Places to go. Lesson 3. Grammar. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to write short sentences using adverbs of frequency. Always, sometimes, and never. In the present simple tense. Now let's look at the picture. You have one girl and here you have three ticks. Do you remember what does three ticks mean? Which adverb? It's always very good. Now let's look at the sentence. Read it with me. Sally always goes shopping. I want you to focus on the colored words. Sally is the subject. It can be a name like Sally, Sarah or any name or you, or you can use a pronoun. Here you can say she. Always is the adverb of frequency, goes is the present simple verb and then you complete the sentence. So you can memorize it as the traffic light. Red is for the subject, yellow is for the adverb of frequency and green is for the present simple verb. Let's look at another example. Look at this picture. This time you have only two ticks. What does it mean? Which adverb is it? Sometimes. Excellent. Let's read the sentence. Mike sometimes goes swimming. So, what do we start the sentence with? We start it with the subject. The subject is Mike, or you can say he. And then, sometimes is the adverb of frequency. And then you have the verb in the present simple tense. And then you complete the sentence. Let's look at more examples. Look at the picture. This time we have two persons. And you have three ticks. Which adverb is it? Always. Excellent. Let's read the sentence. Sally and Kate always go shopping. Again, where is the subject? It's Sally and Kate. Always, a, always is the adverb of frequency. Go is the, uh, the verb in the present simple tense. And then you complete the sentence. Now let's look at this picture. We have three persons this time and you have two ticks. Which adverb of frequency is it? It's sometimes. Very good. Let's read the sentence. Mike, Leo, and Thomas sometimes go swimming. Where's the subject? It's Mike, Leo, and Thomas. Or you can use the pronoun they. Then we have sometimes. It's the adverb of frequency. And then you have the verb in the present simple form. We have go. And then you complete the sentence. Now let's have a look at these sentences again. I want you to focus. What are the differences? What's different from this sentence and this sentence? Take a moment and think. What do you think? Yes. The subject and the verb are different. Let's have a look at the subjects. In the first sentence, we have only Sally. In the second sentence, the subject here is Sally and Kate. We have two persons. And let's look at the verb. In the first sentence, we added an S to the end of the verb. But in the other sentence, we didn't add anything to the verb. So, if you have only one person, 
or you have he, she, and it, you have to add s to the end of the verb. Or, if you have two persons, or you have I, we, they, and you, you shouldn't add anything to the verb. It stays the same. I will explain the rule for you one more time. This is the first family. We have in this family uh, the pronouns he, she, and it. Or you can, you can also use a name, one person's name, like Ali or Sara. If you have one member of this family, you have to add an S to the verb. Let's look at the second family. This family has four pronouns. They are I, you, they, and we. In this family, you don't add anything to the verb. It stays the same. So you say, I play, they play, we play. Here you say, she, she, she plays, or he plays. Now, how do we write a sentence using adverbs of, adverbs of frequency? Do you remember the traffic lights? One more time. We start with a subject, excellent, and then the adverb of frequency. Now you know three adverbs of frequency. What are they? They are usually, sometimes, and never. Excellent. Then you add the verb and it should be in the present simple tense. And finally, you complete the sentence. Now let's start practicing. Now you have to read and fill in the blank with one of these verbs. You have to pay attention. You, you might have changes in the verb. For example, you might add an S. Uh, when Will you add an S? You have to look for the subject. Does it take S or no? For example, here you have they. Does it take S in the verb or not? Think about it. Go back to the rule. Now you can write your answers on your mini board. You have five minutes. Start.
Now let's check our answers. Number one. They always read books at the library. We didn't add an S to the verb. Why? Because you have they. Very good. Number two. I sometimes swim at the swimming pool. We didn't add an S as well. Why? Because you have I. Excellent. Number three. He never plays football at the sports center. Look here, we added S to the verb because you have he. Number four. We sometimes go to the museum as a school trip. Here you didn't add S because you have we. Very good. Number five, she always goes to the cafe with her friend. We added S here because we have she. Very good. Number six, I always fly my kite at the playground. We didn't add the S because we have I. Excellent. Number seven. He sometimes plays computer games in his free time. Why did we add an S to the verb? Excellent, because you have he. And by the way, look at number five, sentence number five. Look at the verb. We added one more letter before S. It's the letter E. Do you know why? Excellent, because we have the vowel O before. That's why. Uh, let me give you another example. If you have the verb do, it has a vowel as, as well. So you will say does. You will add E before the S. Okay. In this activity, I want you to reorder the words or the phrases to form a correct sentence. Do you remember the order of the traffic lights? You start your sentence with the subject, the adverb of frequency, the verb and the present simple tense, and, and finally you complete the sentence. You have five minutes to write your answers on your mini board. Start.
Now let's check your answers. Number one. I always ride my bike in the park. Very good. Number two. He sometimes plays basketball with his cousins. Or you can say, he plays basketball with his cousins sometimes. What is the difference between the first and the second sentence? Yes, the adverb here, it's, it comes after the subject. But here, the adverb sometimes is at the end of the sentence. Only the adverb sometimes can be at the end of the sentence, but it's preferable that you put it after the subject. Number three. They never watch TV at the weekend. Excellent. Number four. She sometimes goes to school late. Or you can say, she goes to school late sometimes. Good job. Finally, I want you to look at the pictures and write sentences. You have to look at the number of the ticks. If you have three ticks, it means you will use always. If you have X, you will use never. Very good. If you have only two ticks, you will use sometimes. Excellent. And again, here are three ticks for always. And the verb is giving here. And pay attention that you might make changes in the verb. You might add an S to the verb. In your sentence, if you write four to five words, you earn one star. If you write six to seven words, you earn two stars. And if you write eight to nine words in your sentence, you earn three stars. You can write your answers on your mini board. And remember, read the writing checklist before you start writing your sentences. Good luck.
Now let's check our answers. The first one you can write, Henry always feeds the cat in the morning. We added S to the verb feeds because we have one person, Henry. Number two. They sometimes do sports at the sports center. We didn't add anything to the verb here because we have they. You can say, we never play football on school days. We didn't add anything to the verb here because we have we. Excellent. And the last one. She always cooks pasta for dinner. We added an S at the end of the word, at the end of the verb, because we have she. You did a great job. This is the end of the lesson today. I hope it was nice. See you soon.